CompTIA ITF Plus, FC0-U61, Practice Exam. Questions 196 through 200. This video is the last in our practice exam video series, and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge one more time? Great, let's begin. Question 196. A user wants to add an extra monitor to their current workstation, which will require a new video card to be installed. What should be the first step in the installation process? The answer is A. Turn off and unplug the workstation. Turning off and unplugging the workstation is the first step in the installation process to ensure safety and prevent electrical damage. Working on a powered device can lead to electric shock, short circuits, or damage to the computer components. By turning off and unplugging the workstation, you eliminate the risk of electrical hazards and potential damage during the hardware modification. Question 197. Which of the following would enable an application to launch automatically upon computer startup? The answer is C. Services. Services in an operating system are background operations that start upon boot up. They provide basic system functionalities that enable specific applications to be operational as soon as the computer starts. Question 198. Which of the following will occur if a user tries to install software designed for 64-bit systems onto a 32-bit system? The answer is D. The software will not install on a 32-bit system. 64-bit software is designed to take advantage of the increased data throughput and enhanced capabilities of 64-bit processors. A 32-bit system lacks the architecture to support these features, so the installation will fail. Question 199. Which of the following represents a hardware address used to identify networking equipment? The answer is A. MAC. Media Access Control, or MAC, address is a unique identifier assigned to network interfaces for communications on the physical network segment. It ensures that each device on a network has a distinct address, allowing for accurate data packet delivery. Question 200. A web developer defines the font color for a web page as follows. Which of the following best describes this notation? The answer is C. Hexadecimal. The notation presented here represents a color code in hexadecimal format. Hexadecimal is commonly used to define colors in web design and development. In this specific case, the presented hexadecimal value corresponds to the color black. Wow, you have completed 200 questions. How about one more question, as a reward for your hard work? Question 201. When creating a flowchart for a program, which symbol represents a decision? The answer is C. Diamond. In flowcharts, a diamond symbol is used to represent decision points allowing for branching, based on conditions or choices. The diamond typically contains a question or condition, and the flowchart branches out from the diamond based on the possible answers to that question. Congratulations on reaching the end of our CompTIA ITF plus practice exam. Your commitment and determination are truly commendable. Now that you've completed this important step in your study process, you are that much closer to acquiring your certification. The next crucial step is signing up for the official certification exam. But remember, while you've achieved so much already, there's no harm in some last-minute reinforcement. With us, you always have the freedom to dive back into our free CompTIA ITF Plus training course or give the practice exam another shot. That way you can ensure you're more than ready. And always remember that we are here cheering you on, eager to witness your next big achievement. So best of luck. We're rooting for you. Thank you for watching. 
Subscribe for more great content.